Hi guys, this is Natara Zaldarriaga and I am a student on MIT in Sydney. I would like to um, um, talk about the SNOR, its installation and configuration and also how to use the SNOR. First introduction, so we know, need to know what is SNOR. SNOR is a free open source. It's a network intrusion prevention system, but it's also an intrusion prevention system. That means that monitors and alerts any network traffic from malicious activities and also identify attacks, patterns, pins, and sweeps. It's a packet sniffer and a packet log. What is a packet sniffer? SNOR uh, shows on a screen the package received and loga because it says the package captured in the hardware. With, the, with this together and the um, analysis of network traffic are the main functions of SNOR. SNOR is done in a single point of entry uh, into a network and is the greatest open source of software of all the time. It's, used, um, it's easy to use and use simple rules like signatures and SNOR also performs a protocol analysis and content searching and matching. It's run by a lot of companies at the moment. When a packet, a malicious packet is detected, so um, it's not can take different, um, as I say, different um, measures. The first measure is drop a connection or reprogram a firewall. Their measure is launch a counter attack. It monitors before it hits the lungs and it counts on rule basis. So we have here um, when the attackers go to the internet, but then the snow is stopped before it hits the lung. It's also I want to show you the SNOR architecture. So when the package in, enter, enter is into a decoder. The decoder uh, tells um, translate to SNOR what is what is about, and then the detection engine the talks is is a logger or an alert. And detection capabilities of the SNOR system is uh, OS fingerprint, it buffers overflows, backdoors still scan, and CGA explode. When you're installing SNOR, first you have to go to the website and download SNOR and also its rules. Then you have to configure the SNOR and then configure it also rules. SNOR configuration um, indicates many things and is um, a very like uh, how to say hard work at the beginning because you have to create a directory and files. Then you have to set up SNOR rules and a white and a black list. Then you have to configure configure SNOR main file as well, and then you have to download any script and register SNOR service using a script file, and then after that you can do a SNOR testing. Also, you have to download another one under premium called called WinCup, and then we're gonna see how. Um, when you're using a SNOR, uh, we have different uh, functions, but then we're gonna see it after I do the demonstration. Okay, what we're seeing here is that we go into SNOR.com. Um, and then after that, we have to get some rules or also like get started with the program. So the first thing we're gonna do is download the program into Windows. So Windows, and then um, there is a, appears the download. And so we're gonna do the install, install file. So we have to download the install file. Also, you can see some documents if you are registered. I am registered at the moment. So as you can say, especially the SNORT user manual is very important for the downloading program. And yeah, there is another, like uh, another documents like SNORT startup scripts and things, or SNORT related web papers. You know, like this different. You, we have you have to agree with the with the license. So we agree with the license, and then we put next. Just installing the program first. And then you have to have a file, so we put in C that dot is not, and then after that you um, extract all the programs on the file, and then also you say that you need a wincup.org, so we have to. I have already installed it, so you accept it. Um, so we put accept. So I already have the wincup installed, uh, so I execute it as administrator. So I double click and I set up the visa. I click also and I also have to agree to all the license of any week up. And then after that, also tick the box and then install automatically. After that, you finish. 
Then we go back again to the website and we say it's not .aqm and then after that uh, we're just going to download the rules. So then we go to the rules section and then after that you have three options which is the community. We have also the register and the subscription. In this case um, I am registered so I put sign in. It's better than signing things because um, it gives you more like actualizing the, the community rules are very in general. And, um, rules. So um, we just go to the register rules and then we click in those ones. And then after that, we just download it where, where you want it. So I have a, a file and then we just create the file. After that, you have already the rule installed, and then you extract all the rules from they are in, in C files, so you have to extract it. Also, we have different uh, uh, files, uh, folders that we need also for the configuration, and then after that, so we copy and paste uh, both of uh, those protocol rules and rules, and then after that, we just put it in a snore file. Mm. And then, and then, then we say we paste. So we paste both files, which are the main rules that we need for the system. Then after that, so it's in, it's in the file at the moment. And then when it's all done, so we need to check if we that write the the, con, the configuration and the installation. So we put C is not this that as you bin in the bin file is is mainly in the bin file. And then after that, we say, and, and then we say that yeah, it's correct file, so we don't need to do much about it. And then uh, we just click in uh, different rules, but the rules are empty, so we need to extract them from for the C file. Um, they have so we open open the um, folder, and then we copy all of them. And then after that, we use extract. We also put it in the in, in the folder that is with the says rules from a snore and then we put accept. After we put accept, uh, we check it in the other file. Yes, the rules are there, all the rules that we need. After that, we also have to do the same with the proc file with proc rules. So we go again to the C file and then back and the proc rules. And then after that, uh, you put a snort, and then the protocol rules, and then you put accept. And then after that, you say yes to everything. So now we close the SIPA, and then we have already the, the programs, the rules that we need, like uh, the protocol rules and the rules file. Then we come back to the snort and then etc. Also, we're just going to start the snort configuration. So we drag it to the uh, com, and then you see that you have different uh, kind of rules that sometimes, um, as the tutorials uh, have uh, shown me, and you have to set up some rules. The first, the first one is you have to change any, and then you put um, your um, IP address. So we put our, our IP address just to make sure, like you know. To, to download it perfectly and then we put C, uh, 16 yeah 6 16 one six very good and then and then there is lots of steps for the setup of this uh configuration it's not configuration like for example this one so it's gonna do another one which is home and then oh uh, yeah so slash that Home, home network. So it's lots of um, lots of steps that um, that give us that we have to change anyway. But I'm going to jump here and then set it up and then to keep going for not making the file too long. Yeah, but just make sure, uh, just let you know, that, let you know this is the file that we have to set and accommodate. Uh, um, I just wanted to let you know that also we have to create a whitelist and um, a blacklist in this case uh, so we have to also change different um, like different 
uh, it, like words and, and lists depends on the rules and the guidance that uh, I, I do by research and also, but it's very important to create those, those files. I just wanted to show you. So in this case, we have a white file and a snort file. So we're gonna set it up. Uh, we're just going to save it, which is very important. So we put a snort and then rules, and then we have to set it up, uh, you know, save it on rules, on the rules side. So uh, we, we can say it's not files. And then we say wait. White, we put white list. And the same thing we do with the black the, with the black list. But I'm gonna jump this step as well to this. And we take a C double dot and then it's not. Uh, double dot being, which is the thing that I have here, and then um, snort, which is going to see with the W, what is it, um, and then they say that it show me all the details about it, especially with the IP addresses and things, and then we put so snort AI, which is the interface we are working with, interface 2, and then we have uh, also the C, and then we have different, which is the snort, um, and and we have to put this address, which is etc, and then snort again, and then that that com, config, config, with slash t, that's it. Uh -huh. And so we say, and then we find there is some errors in the system. So, and they say the line number. So we have to go to the line again and check what line is missing. The, the computer will let you know what line we have mistakes. In this case, we have made the mistakes in rules. But I, I will jump also this step until I get it successful and, and show you back again. Okay, so we are now again configuring the system. I put the same um, command and see if um, if all the rules are installed, and then it's, it's trying to analyze if uh, if I have set up a snort correctly in the C prompt, and then it says, oh yeah, so it's successfully uh, configured. So we we can keep going. So we keep going, and then going to snore back again and then the rules and then um, in this case we're just gonna set up also the local rules in the local rules um, you have to you can like uh, set up your own rule uh, and your own alert so in this case we're gonna set alert one alert and so is uh, you can put any on any um, like at the beginning that uh, so it's kind of like any instructions but I it's just gonna do it with the TPC so it's TCP and then after that um, I had to put like um, brackets MS MSA which is just the origin destination so the source and then I put prueba proof which is proof of TPC that we're just gonna prove if it's okay. And then at the end is the destination mm, with the seed that come that, and then you have to put the number of, of that, you know, the register number. So we do that. And then after that, you copy and paste in common prompt again, and then you analyze it, everything, and then you know that uh, your um, alert is set up for the program. So just wait the system, wait for the common prompt. So we just wait for it. Common prompt done. It's still, uh, so it's, it's, it's doing the, um, the package processing at the moment. So uh, it takes a while time, but we get it there. So 
So our uh, next step is using a SNOR. So after the configuration that we have taken a uh, long time to do configuration, and then we just going to test uh, the SNOR um, to use it as well. So we say that the SNOR can be in a sniffer mode uh, or can be like in a, we also can uh, set uh, application details or data link layers or also a SNOR as a logger mode. So we're gonna see that what happens. So now we're going to start using for first time a snore. So we put a snore, uh, we're just going to put B for the, um, for the first, which is, is, is packet is, is sniffer. And then for this, I, I say it's commencing processing. So you can see all, all the headers from the, you know, sniffing all the website, uh, all the networking. But then also we can pull a BD and in BD also it show me uh, the packet processing all the application details in this case so we have all the application details here and then after that we put a SNOR BDE and in BDE we're gonna have the data links uh, layers uh, checking so and on the, the common zip so we see that all the data links are checked at the moment. Um, it's check is running correct. At the, yeah, and then we can put also another uh, command, which is um, snort uh, div div b l var variant of log snort. And this also will let me to check different and see if they were something. And then we also can um, ping our our own uh, our IP address and, the, and then the IP address it will show me the different uh, testing for this north. So in conclusion, we have uh, demonstrated how to. Um, and download a snore, how to download the rules, how to install and configure a snore and, and also configure the rules, how to change the main file, which is very important for the snore before all a snore can work. Also, we, also we um, learn about how to use command prompt for uh, testing and also for check yeah, also for mo for modifying the snore file, but also for testing the if the file is working, uh, if the snore is working. Also, um, we learn that um, that how to use uh, different commands. Also for um, making sure that our um, internet, like I with the our I with the our IP address, is working and. Um, and then we know that in conclusion, uh, we know that SNOR is very useful, especially because it's a packer decoder, it's a preprocessor, it's a detection engine, and login and alert. I hope you like it, uh, my presentation, and I hope you have liked my presentation and learn a lot with that. I'm very happy to learn how SNOR works. Thank you.